So in our class, we look at the Cajun and Creole cuisines as they are today, and we examine the history of uh, what the influences were, the cultural influences, and how they have developed uh, some of the iconic dishes like jambalaya and gumbo, uh, sauce piquant, the things that we all take for granted that people all over the world love and, uh, and are wondering about. So we discuss how uh, our culture and our cuisines have developed to where they are today. The class is two hours long. We prepare a meal and that ties into whatever the topic is uh, for that day. So if we're talking about gumbos, we might get into the, the history of gumbos and the differences between Cajun gumbo and Creole gumbo and things like that as an example. A lot of people uh, have misconceptions about Louisiana cooking, South Louisiana cooking, and that, that it's always spicy, it always has seafood in it, and things like that. And we get kind of down to the, uh, the bare bones on those things, and we look and you can have something that's spicy, um, or you can have something that's seasoned. And most of the dishes and most of the re uh, recipes in our cuisines are seasoned well, but they're not necessarily hot unless that is an option that you want to pursue. Antonio Molassini is the, uh, the one who is teaching the class. He is a, a wine rep. He's the one who goes over to the vineyards and wineries in Italy, samples the wines and decides which ones to come back and sells them to the, uh, the bars, the restaurants, the, the wine stores in South Louisiana. He's uh, been doing this for more than 20 years, between 20 and 30 years. And we do the class at Mathern's downtown. They have a, a small sampling room. They provide a light meal, and we usually sample six wines. And during the, the, uh, the wine sampling and the wine class, you learn something about the geography and history of Italy as he talks about uh, how each of the wines were made, uh, the grapes that were used. And uh, it is a very convivial atmosphere. We are enjoy singing together. It is so much fun. Everyone is welcome. And Ollie has afforded an opportunity for you to come and try us out. We hope that you will do that. We sing all kinds of different music. It's called Barbershop. And I know most people think that's a men's organization, but we are all women. And we would love to see you come join us, come try us out, and have fun. We uh, become friends, and we love being out in the community sharing the joy of music. So check us out. We have a website, www Baton Rouge Chorus, and if you want to check that out, or check out Ollie, of course, with all the offerings that they have. But we hope you'll choose us. Well, I'm offering a class called Origins of Modern Life. It talks about how modern, how man today benefits from things that have been compiled over millennia, thousands of years, going back to cavemen from the beginning of the time with cavemen, we didn't know much of anything. And gradually people began learning more and more, developing new knowledge, learning about electricity and how it worked, for instance, learning about different medical treatments that can be used today. Modern life depends upon an accumulation of knowledge for thousands and thousands of years. And what I do is I trace this from the very beginning, from primitive people living in caves, and gradually I indicate how different bits of knowledge were picked up and accumulated. For instance, uh, lives, our lives today are pretty well ruled by something called algorithms. Algorithms are a way of uh, processing information. And that comes out of the Islamic period in the Middle East uh, a thousand years ago. And I talk about how electricity was first recognized and is now, we depend upon electricity and how it's generated, about modern medical treatments. Bring this right up to the present. Our modern day life depends upon all these things that we've learned.
Tigers. 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 Tigers.